Manchester United always have summer transfer sagas. It happens every single year. Thiago, Fabregas, Bale, Muller, David De Gea a couple of years ago. And it looks like it's going to be David De Gea again this year. It was only a broken fax machine that stopped his move to Real Madrid a couple of years ago. But with Jose Mourinho leaving De Gea out of certain games, Romero playing well, Romero playing in the Europa League final, questions are being asked as to whether De Gea played his final game for Manchester United away at White Hart Lane. Now, I hope it's not the case, and Jose Mourinho has been talking about it and talking about De Gea's future after the 0-0 draw against Southampton. And Mourinho made it very clear that he expected David De Gea to still be a Manchester United player next season. And here's what he had to say. He said, I think the first match in pre-season against LA Galaxy will be De Gea's next game. I hope to play Pereira against Crystal Palace. I hope to play Sergio Romero in the Europa League final. Hopefully we don't have problems with these two goalkeepers. But David De Gea is the top in the world and obviously we want to keep the top in the world. And for me, I don't know whether it's me with red tinted glasses on or not, but I genuinely think that De Gea is the best goalkeeper in the world. Hugo Lloris is excellent. Uh, Manuel Neuer is fantastic. Gianluigi Buffon is excellent and so is Oblak. But for me, De Gea. De Gea. And why wouldn't you want to keep the best goalkeeper in the world? Obviously. But the question is, does De Gea now want to try and force the move? Because he didn't particularly force the move to Madrid last time. He just stayed very, very silent. He never really said yes or no to the transfer rumours. He just let them go on in the background. But obviously his girlfriend still lives out in Madrid. His family's in Madrid. He was born in Madrid. Played for Atletico Madrid's youth academy. Does the fact that he played for Atletico mean that he won't go back to Real Madrid and play for Real Madrid, Atletico's bitter rivals. I don't know, but I think that David De Gea has stayed at the club under David Moyes and then Van Gaal for two years. If he wasn't there, we would have finished a hell of a lot lower than we ever did. You know, he won player of the year two out of three seasons because he was facing so many shots, our defence was poor and he just stood up to everything. Now, under Jose Mourinho, he hasn't been needed that much this year because our defence has been much better at conceding less chances, but De Gea has still been outstanding. Definitely not his best campaign in the last three years, but still outstanding. And if Manchester United really are kicking on under Jose Mourinho, and we're bringing in Pogba, we're bringing in Ibrahimovic, Mkhitaryan, by top draw players, why would we then go and let one of our best players go to Real Madrid in David De Gea? And does David De Gea want to go? Let me know what you think about this saga. Do you think that David De Gea is going to stay at Manchester United? Will he still be a Manchester United player next year? I really hope so. It will be a terrible, terrible loss for United to lose one of our best players to Real Madrid, just like with Beckham, just like with Van Nistelrooy. Is De Gea going to be the next one to go to Real Madrid from United? I hope not. But the rumours are going to be there all summer and I want to get your thoughts on the current situation do you think he's going to leave this summer? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, drop a like on the video as always. Subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. We'll see you soon. Take it easy.